There's something wrong with my ukulele. Hey everybody, how's it going? I asked everybody on my Facebook and Twitter if you had any questions. It turns out some of you did, and I'm gonna answer them now. Let's go. Favorite metal guitarists? James Hetfield, Zach Wilde, uh, Wes Borland, and Dimebag Darrell. There's a million more, but they're the ones that I can think of right now. What are you hoping to purchase next to add to your collection? If not guitar, what piece of gear? I really want to check out the Schecter Banshee 8. I think it's really cool, and to me it kind of looks like Schecter's answer to the Ibanez RG. It has a bolt on neck just like an RG, and has a flat top just like an RG. Moreover, I really like the simplicity. It's just got a stop tail bridge and some tuners. I really like simple. Will you be trying Seymour Duncan's new metal pickups, Black Winter, Nazgul, Pegasus in the near future? Have you ever tried the Seymour Duncan Nazgul? I have not tried them yet, but all the demos online sound fantastic, so I will endeavour to get some and put them in a the video. Tips for beginners? Yes, three things, part one, keep yourself inspired. If you really like Nirvana, for example, uh, learn some Nirvana songs or, some just, or just some Nirvana riffs and play them all day every day. If you really like learning scales, learn as many as you can and play them all day every day. Find the thing that you like the most and really have fun with it. Getting stuck on things you find boring is really a motivation killer. And when you're a beginner, I think it's really important to keep the fun factor. So find something you like, have fun with it, and that's the best way to keep moving forward. Part two, magazines. Subscribe to a guitar magazine. When you're a beginner, literally everything in a guitar magazine is of use to you. I recommend Total Guitar and Guitar World, links in the description. I have recently discovered that Bacon makes an excellent string for drop E. It's tighter than any other gauge I can find, but it's not very stable. That is not a question, but I admire your creativity. Why do you have so many beautiful guitars but not a single decent tube amp? Because it's expensive. Now seriously, in the future I do really want to get a tube amp, 4x12 cab and mic things up and do things the proper old school way. But right now with the way technology is and it being so good these days, I see myself upgrading to something like a Kemper or an Axe FX. And especially with apps like BIOS on my iPad and Jamup Pro, there's no need to upgrade right now. But in the future, most definitely yes. What advice would you give to an aspiring producer? I started writing music and producing a few months ago and have so incredibly much to learn to get my mix right. Me too. There are people far more qualified to talk about this than me, but the way I've done everything is learn by doing. I watched a whole bunch of YouTube tutorials and I read a whole lot. Basically, you just have to become a big information sponge and take everything in and then apply it to what you're doing. The most important thing is though to keep doing stuff. Don't be one of those people that is continually making the same song trying to get it perfect. Do something, finish it and move on. That's how you get better in my opinion. I'm looking at purchasing my first 8-string. Any tips for me jumping from 6 to 8, shapes, extended scales, etc? Um, I've never really thought of the 8-string that way. I don't really think about extending my scales down onto the lower strings. I tend to just work that stuff out as and when I need to. One thing's for sure though, you can play an 8-string a, a lot but I, I keep looking at it because it's over there. One thing's for sure though is you can play an 8-string a lot different to how you play your 6-string. You know, people like Tosin Abassi show that it's not all, all gent and that's important. Try and stay away from stereotypes when you pick up an 8-string. Other than that, it's not going to take a long time to adjust from the 6 to the 8. It happens really quickly. What's your favourite cheese? Burger. Are you going to put more of your songs on iTunes? Yes! There's a few of them on there right now, and I'm going to be uploading the others progressively over the next few weeks. Uh, if you want to go check out my iTunes, there's an annotation somewhere on screen, and also a link in the description. Thank you so much for watching, there'll be some more music videos coming soon, I promise. If you like this video, please give it a like, maybe a share, and if you want to see more of my stuff, please subscribe. Thanks again for watching, I will see you soon, and I'm going to go play some guitar. Mmm, that's a lot of cheese.